I was reading about the battles, Battle of Harper's Ferry in okay. the Civil War. Tell us about it. Uh, it's just the town of West Virginia. Okay. And uh, I think the Confederates just like wiped out the Union or I don't know. I, I don't know a whole lot about it. But what I, what I was just looking at it and it's like this little town by on, on I think it's on the Shenandoah River. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. It is. Yeah. yeah. And so I was just reading and I was thinking of like when all this was going down during the Civil War and like uh, Union forces or whatever went to a town and just like started firing. How long would it take someone in New York to find to find out that happened? It took them a really long time. A month? It's a really yeah. good point. Two months? Yeah. Yep. It took a re- in fact, they kept fighting certain battles after they were, like, done. They'd been won yeah. because they had no way of communicating. Hmm. Right, right. That's why I'm thinking, like, back then, all this stuff would be going down. People in New York and D.C. would be like, oh. So they go about their lives like normal. Yeah. Nobody would be making weapons. Nobody would be freaking out. There'd be no propaganda. There would be no protest marches. Now it's like some dude in Minneapolis dies and people in London start rioting and smashing windows. Yeah. Yep. It's like that's not even the same country, dude. So now, yeah, so I, I wonder about this stuff, you know? Yeah, it is kind of interesting, though, because in in Britain, they, they like, paid. They they had their citizens pay f- to free all the slaves in oh, Britain. That what yeah, happened? they just paid it off in 2015, yeah. They just right? finished Oh, paying. they paid yeah. reparations? Yeah. 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 So it's like... It's never what? gonna be enough, no. dude. Exactly. Do you see it the won't. you see the video of the cop laying on his belly with his hands behind his back, Ugh. and that someone yells, that "It's not enough! <laughs> it's not enough to lay on your stomach and like surrender." You know what, dude? Yeah, it, it, it'll never be enough. No. I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't know the UK paid reparations. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They planned it out. The problem with the US is that you can't simultaneously talk about how we're a nation's a nation of immigrants and then want everyone to pay. So, so if you're gonna say that. You know, they, they've talked about how would you actually pay reparations? You'd mm-hmm. have to like trace back lineage, lineage, uh, do the same thing for for the family of slave owners. Slave owners. That's true. Yeah, like what, why does my Korean family have anything to do with this? Right. right? That's Nothing. A good point. <laughs> Nothing. That's fair. In fact, they were trying to flee the, the the slavery and stuff that was going on in their country. So leave me out of it. Hmm. But that's what you get, man. Now we're seeing just radicalization, and I wonder if it's like, you know, it's it's. We, we saw the Democrats earlier, you know, kneeling. Yeah. And that's just like, they they're, they're, they may not be entrenched in the fringe cult, but they're like adopting the symbols now, yeah. like wearing, you know, they wore the yeah. Kenti cloth or whatever. They're, they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to, and, and that's and that's it seeping into the mainstream. And this is where it gets scary, man, when you start seeing the ideological enforcement of law. This racetrack in North Carolina wanted to put on an event and so they defied the governor with a big F you. The governor basically said, you can't do this. So yeah. then they held another event and said, it's a protest uh-huh. now. Now, now we're protesting inequality. Brilliant. And the governor's apparently pissed off, mm-hmm. like striking back. And it's like, no, 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 no. You, you, can't, you can't go out and march with protesters and say the protesters are okay and then get mad if I do a protest the way I want to do it. Right. So this is where, this is where we're at. They're, they're literally trying to enforce the law against anyone except those who adhere to their ideology. That's messed up. Yeah, it's real messed Doesn't up. Doesn't make man. any sense. I mean, it does if you're in a cult and your cult is taking over. Okay. Yeah. Then you're like, because they know it's not about like like you mentioned, they're they're out riding in London, but they just paid off the reparations. Yeah. Because well, like, so a lot of people in the chat, I just was I was reading it. It's like it's not that they were repar- rep- uh, reparations. It was they paid for the people to be free, so they bought them essentially. They bought their freedom. Yeah. And let them be free, and it's taken. A long time to finally oh I pay, see finish paying all of that off so they avoided a civil through war. taxes yeah so it's like they've been paying wow but it's it they helped pay for their freedom so you know sure it's not reparations as the traditional what we think that we owe them but it's like what else could they have done they helped free them yeah I think they gave great. them their freedom and then you know it's messed you know you know you know, I, you know I was thinking. Hmm. I, I decided I, I completely agree with reparations, man. Oh. One hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. I think the Confederacy should be forced to pay for all of the all the slavery. So hmm. if you you know, reach out to those Confederates and, and let them know that they owe you money. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Oh, I mean us? Oh no, we're the ones who uh, not my family actually, because we weren't here. But uh, uh, my the family union. did the union that won. Yeah, my yeah. family. Well, they're did. the ones who paid to literally fight a war to free mm-hmm. the slaves. So and, and, and died. Yeah. yeah. And 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 I say that somewhat facetiously because I actually do think there's some things we can do. I think reparations is the wrong wrong way to go about it. I think it should be class based. But I do think generational wealth is creating a massive disparity, which causes racial tensions and problems that needs to be fixed. But well, I I thought about this after our show last week about talking about how cities are are not 
they just can't work cities you know and then i'm like all right so, so how do we solve that how do we we, we can't just suddenly you know give these people the you know the poor folks in cities plots of land everywhere because we'd yeah. have to take it from other people you know so what is the answer there it's like really it's it's not an easy answer you know but part of what we should figure out how to do is get people land you know make communities we got a whole bunch of empty space create in this yeah create communities outside of cities that people can live in learn how to grow on the land you know not owe people to live there not have to pay to live yeah, I think that that'd make a I huge got, difference. I got bad news though. What? I had a converse I was having a conversation on Facebook with a friend of mine. Okay. And I made that point about cities. I thought I was like, I think the real problem is that people are stacked on top of each other. You've got police who don't care. Yeah. And then she was like, Tokyo. Oh, it's not that police don't care. It's that they deal with so many different people. No. That no. you you see the bad in the, no, instances. No, no, no. This, this is the point that she brought up. What? Tokyo. Yeah, okay. what's the difference? What is the difference? Why is it that Tokyo has none of these problems and they have ten times, oh, I know three why. times the people? That's and why is that? They're racially homogenous. Boom. Yeah. And then I brought that up. I said, yeah, you bring up Tokyo, and but that's... wants to hear that. That's, it's, it's ethnically and racially homogenous. Right. No, no, she did. And she's like a lefty Black Lives Matter really? activist. And she said, she was like spot on, exactly. Good for her. Which shows that there are tensions between races in New York City that need to be solved. Yeah. Okay. Because you have disproportionate amounts of... Uh, so, more white people and Latinos are killed, but... Relative to the population, more about black people are killed. Okay. Now, you've got different arguments from different groups as to why that is. Some would argue the police are racist. Some would argue, I mean, and Bloomberg literally <laughs> said he sent yeah. the cops into that neighborhood for that reason. Yeah. I know, it's true. But then other people bring up that, you know, more crimes are committed in these in these neighborhoods, which I can easily point to class issues and not race. Yeah. But but she agreed. She was like, you know, yeah, there's there's something that they don't have, and that's the different, you know, races and stuff. And I was like, so it sounds like, you know, we are a multicultural civilization. We have these racial tensions that don't exist in ethnically homogenous cities. Yeah. So right, right off, right, right from there, you you'll hear a lot of the like, I don't, I don't know what group to, would would re represent this idea the best. I'm not going to name anybody, but they want to balkanize, like separate all the races or whatever. Okay. Mm. I think that's ridiculous. So they want to bring back segregation no Is, balkanization oh, what's that so like all of one race would be put in one state all of one race would be put in another state to separate everybody <laughs> How, and fence it up is that not exactly what segregation it's is not segregation was like there'll be one movie theater with two bathrooms and one for different people okay so, so you live in the same so city but bring it up to a larger scale it's, it's the same thing so well, you're well, you have to go you have to live in this state you're not allowed to live in that state yeah it's called balkanization well, they sound awfully the same to me. Segregation would be like you can come to the pizza place and different races sit in diff different areas. Okay. In yeah, Balkan that's what I'm saying. It's just a bigger version of it. Well, yeah, I guess. Thank sort you. Sort of. Except I got it. I, no, no, I'm, I'll accept it. We can move on now. <laughs> no, I mean, but balkanization <laughs> is about literally creating, like, separating countries. Yeah, yeah. So that you can make sure the races don't interact with each other ever. Yeah. Hmm. That's so they're different from segregation. So, so create the divided states of America. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's stupid. I think I think it is fair to I, th I think you know it's you know it's funny and like what's messed up about this argument okay. that I can't stand is that the left and the white supremacists completely agree on on, mm. on almost everything except f like what 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 the left doesn't understand is they've never actually listened to a white supremacist speak. Okay. So I was talking to uh, a friend of mine who was saying that white supremacists think that white people are killed more by the police, and I said that's not true. There are conservatives who will point that out. Mm -hmm. Hey, more white people are killed by cops. The, when you actually listen to the identitarians, be it white identitarian, black identitarian, or whatever, they'll tell you, yep, we agree. Completely on all of it. I was talking to my friend and I said, do, do you know what uh, the 1350 is? Um, yeah, I'm familiar with it's, it. It's, it's, it's a phrase often brought up by like white nationalists referencing okay. that. Uh, and actually, uh, there was a, a, there's a viral video right now from, I think, I think this was in Brandon Strzok's video the one that's going viral, he what? mentions uh, 1350. Yeah, he says the black the black population is 13 percent of the U.S., but uh, accounts for 50 percent of all violent right. crime or whatever. And so I was trying to explain to my lefty friends that when they mention the disproportionate policing against black people, I'm like, that's literally what white supremacists bring up. Hmm. But they 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 think there's a different cause for it. Right. They're just arguing about cause. Yeah, and I was like, the the, the people you're talking about like are a, are an imaginary group of people. Like the, the, the lefty friends I know, like literally just make up this hmm. conservatives in their mind. Like I know this one dude, he posted something of a guy. It was a meme where a guy is saying, it's like a comic. 
he's saying if they didn't want to get shot, they shouldn't have gone out for curfew. And then it's him sucking on a boot. And I'm like, where did you make that person up? Yeah. Like, like th that's ridiculous. Like, I know there are some dumb people on Twitter who say things kind of like that, but it's like you imagine this person in your mind who you think it is. And so now you have all these like lefties who are actually bringing up the same points as like, I guess the, the easy way to put it is Black Lives Matter is a black identitarian group. So they believe a lot of the same racial tenets and ideology is like white identitarian groups. Yeah. They probably just, they just don't you realize it. Anyway, the point I was bringing up is when you look at what's going on in cities like New York, where you do have these issues, if you hyper focus on how Bloomberg handled things, you'd say the police in the city are racist. Okay. If you hyper focus on the areas where crime is coming out of, you'd probably think it was a race based issue. And then if you try and look back and look at all the data and realize that poverty is the driving force, generational wealth disparities combined with people like Michael Bloomberg, right. you try to figure out what these problems are. Instead, you get the whole situation. Instead, what do you get? Mm -hmm. A bunch of people who can't see beyond step one. And so the only thing they say is racism or race. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that simple. Yep. Definitely not. Never. Well, that, that's our opening rant for yeah, the good, moment. Good opening rant. Yeah. But we're going to. So. So anyway. <laughs> I don't even know how we, how we even got there. I was talking to a friend on Facebook. That's how it happened. The Turn reason heads. why is because it is it it is what is on everyone's mind right yeah. now. That's right, why exactly this this exactly. is what's happening. We we have to figure something out. You know, you know, everyone deserves the right to have a life. You know, Every, yep. everyone. So if there's people out there that that are rightly pissed that they're not getting equal rights as to live, then we need to figure something out. Well, there, 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 there can't be. It's just, it's just that's the problem, man. It's well, like not right. That's exactly my point. Especially right now, in a city. we cannot, especially living in a city. Yeah. Yep. Right. Exactly. There's just there's so many different facets of what needs to happen to solve this all. You know, where do you even start? You know, how how do we you know, even man, go about that? The problem is complex problems require complex solutions. Yeah. yeah. But we are we are a planet of very simple people. Very few people have have powerful enough minds to calculate complex issues. I think the problem is that no one person can tackle it. I don't think any one person can handle a problem like this. And I don't think any idea is good enough because I think it's at a cultural level. And I've been thinking about these problems for my entire adult life. And I've come to the conclusion that you don't solve cultural problems. I don't know how to do it. I don't think there is a way to do it. Yeah, maybe there isn't. Maybe, maybe it's just there will always be some problem no matter what we do. Yeah. Like. You know, it's, it's funny to me right now that a lot of these young people, like the fake tourniquet thing. Yeah. Remember? So we, we talked about this a little while ago. There was a video from a riot. Some dude got hit in the leg with a rubber bullet. He got, in a, he got a surface level. A contusion. A, yeah. sur surface level, man. It was like he was bleeding, but it was kind of like. Yeah, you know, I you know, saw bro. it. It wasn't, it wasn't bleeding that bad. Right. It, it was barely open, an open wound, but it wasn't even bleeding. But yeah. it was not even that big of a deal. It's like, no, it wasn't dude, that bad. have you ever been skating? Like my legs are covered in scars. I don't even, my, I don't even want to think about my legs yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, my, you, my ankles are on fire. Right your ankles up today. Yeah. Almost got that hard flip. That was good. I almost did. But I've, I've, I've had, I've had, I have a dent in my shin bone yeah. from getting whacked with a skateboard oh. and it dented the it's bone. Probably, it's probably permanent. Oh, it yeah, is. Oh, sure. definitely. It's been, I did it's too. been 10 years. Yeah. Mine are like mountain ranges. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. Yeah. Ooh. These, these kids put a tourniquet on, on this leg. This like, <laughs> they put it on wrong and they put all their weight into strapping it. And oh, it's just like, man. are you, you're, you're, you're dumb. <laughs> and you're going to lose your leg now. So, so this, this, here's why I bring this up. It's like, is this it? We're so desperate for some kind of adventure. Maybe. That these kids are like, I got to put a tourniquet on this. And yeah. it's like, you know what, man? Well, and they're lashing out at anything and everything, yeah, too. Yeah, you got to have an Listen, enemy. This is why you see the Antifa types wearing all black, throwing rocks at cops. It is live, live action role play is a little uh, dismissive. That's what we, we say, LARPing. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, they try and throw it back at like conservatives, which doesn't make sense because the 45 year old guy standing in a park reading a prayer is not LARPing anything, he's literally living. Yeah. I was, at, I was in Portland and that's what ex exactly was going on. They were yelling Nazi LARPers and I'm like, what? no, they're literally doing a prayer service. Like they're actually living. You guys are the one who think you're fighting Nazis when these guys are just literally reading a prayer service. Yeah. That's how bored life is. So, so we, we, we have this video from Seattle where these Antifa dudes are throwing rocks and bottles at cops. I tweeted about it. There's no constructive end to what they're doing. Right. There's no point where the police are like, oh, no, we've been defeated on the streets. We'll hereby disband. Mm -hmm. No. 
You throw a rock, you hit a cop, the cop's wearing a helmet, then another cop comes back, and it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It's like somebody being mad at uh, a bank, so they, they show up with a spoon, and they're banging on the wall with the spoon. Ooh. And you're like, I'll show you, and it's like, you will literally never do anything to that building with a spoon. Or they go and like mug the cashier yeah. from the bank. <laughs> it's like, that's right, I showed those bankers. And it's like, yeah, that's okay. just a regular person. That or worked, throwing worked a brick there. through a window. Somebody's sure. Working. There's nothing constructive to that. I mean, you can argue that it demoralizes the police, I guess. Yeah. But come on, barely. You know, so these kids are going out desperate for something, anything to feel important. That's, I mean, we've been, this been lacing our show yeah. f- since we started the show about people not having something to live for yeah people don't have that anymore that's we need to give that to humanity no humanity needs to give to itself these people had bad parents well i'm saying we as as a human you know what i mean like i felt like it took me a while to find you know what i want to do in my life and i honestly i'm still i I didn't even this i just stumbled upon this you know Mm -hmm. and this this is great but you know i like my music or whatever it is it's like it's something to work towards you know we need to you know we all have to come together and figure this out. We can't say one person's gonna figure out the answers. And then if someone doesn't have an answer you like, you can't just cancel them. We gotta have a conversation about it. You know, it's like, but, well, we no, gotta open it up and talk. Well, no, the canceling is, is about them having no mission. That's True. why That's why they often attack each other. That becomes their mission, to right. just yeah. cancel it because you don't even, you don't believe what I believe, I'm just gonna cancel you. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live. Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune in to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify, and we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.